Hi, I'm Lucas Rogers and I'd like to welcome you along to the Rogers Property Group. Today, I'm going to be explaining to you the different financial structures involved with setting up a self-managed super fund for a borrowing arrangement. Now, it's very, very important that you understand that I'm not giving you any advice today to say that you should be going out and setting one up. You need to seek some financial advice around that to see whether it's the right structure for you. All that I'm going to be doing today is talking about some of the pros and cons and, say, and telling you about how it all fits together. So let's get started. A self-managed super fund is a little bit like a trust structure. Well, it's exactly the same as a trust structure in the fact that you have your trust down here and then you have a trustee that manages that, okay? But in this case, your trust is the self-managed super fund. Okay? And then of course, we have our beneficiaries down the bottom there. They're the people who are entitled to the benefits out of it. Now, when we're setting up a borrowing arrangement for a self-managed super fund, we have our super fund, but it's important from a banking perspective that your trustee here is not an individual trustee. So it's not, you know, Lucas Rogers and, and, and you know, Bill Smith. It's, it's a proprietary limited company, okay? So that needs to be a proprietary limited company. And that's from a banking perspective, that's what they like to see. Now, that's the first part of the structure that we set up. There's a second part of the structure as well that we need to look at. Okay, that is setting up another trust, okay? And this is called a bear trust, okay? And that also needs a trustee, so we'll have a corporate trustee, so that means a proprietary limited company to manage that, okay? Very, very important. That's the structure that you need to set up. Now, to set up a self-managed super fund borrowing arrangement, it's a great way, and it's a great way to hold property as well. Um, it's quite complex, as you can see, and one of the cons of it is it's quite expensive to set up. There's four different entities to set up, um, plus you're gonna need some financial advice around that. So it's gonna cost you anywhere from, say, six to maybe $10,000, depending on what financial planner that you're dealing with, to set that particular structure up. So that's one of the, the drawbacks of it. And also, it's quite complex, not many people actually understand it, okay? And the running costs of it, depending on the amount of superannuation that you have, uh, can sometimes be a pain. But, let me say this, the pros of owning a self-managed super fund and buying assets and the borrowing arrangement are huge. What it enables a person to do is leverage up their super. So if you've got a couple of hundred thousand dollars in super, you could potentially buy properties of $500,000. So if you get a 10% growth on your $200,000, well, you're only making $20,000. But if you made a 10% growth on your $500,000 property, well, your super funds improved or increased by $50,000. So there's the leverage in there, which is so great. The second thing is, is it's a very safe structure to own property in. It's very, very safe in the fact that it's not actually you owning it, it's a separate legal entity. So if you were to get sued personally, your assets are nice and safe within your super fund. The biggest benefits, when it comes time to retire, the tax benefits are massive. Everything within the fund, once you change it over to what we call a pension fund and you start drawing income out of it, then everything becomes tax-free within that fund. So that means that it's um, no capital gains tax and no income tax from the fund as well. So look, it's definitely worth investigating. If you have around $200,000 or you and your partner have about $200,000, it's definitely worth investigating whether you can borrow through a self-managed super fund. But once again, uh, I'm not saying that you should do it. It's just uh, some, some, a general look at it um, and explain to you the borrowing arrangement. I really encourage you to get some financial advice around that. Have a talk to us in the office and we can direct you in the right path. Thanks very much for listening and I hope I've helped you out today.